Kate says, how do you know if he's got an addiction to sex and women? Well, you can just watch, right? It, some guys will hide it because a lot of women um, are very, very like, they don't like it, right? They don't, they don't like this very much. Um, guys are tend to be more forgiving around stuff like this if a woman does it, but women are very, like, tend to be very, um, uh, they don't like it very much. And so you, what you can do is just ask him about it right? Talk to him about it. Talk to him about his habits. Talk to him about the things that he does, you know, watch him. The The best thing that you can do is over time, right? Because a lot of people hide things like this in the initial stages, but over time it'll start revealing itself and he'll reveal how he feels with his language and all that kind of stuff over time, which is why it's so important that people stop getting into relationships so quickly. Like it can feel really good. You meet somebody and you like do that whirlwind courtship where you're just like, oh, you know, and you just, you get together and you're like, you are so amazing. Right. But a lot of times what happens when people are doing that is they end up actually finding out who this person is like three months down the road, four months down the road and being like, wait, this wasn't what I was signing up for when I got into this relationship. Right. And it turns into something completely different. And so you, you, what you want to do is just give, give it time and let yourself see his habits appear and ask him questions. Don't overly invest. Right. That's, those are the kinds of things that you want to do. If we're talking about a dating scenario, you should be dating other people and just watching things as things go and progress and move along.